What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister. Today we're going to go back old school. We're going to do a comic book review of Spawn. Issue number one. We got to take it all the way back to the beginning. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue with Al Simmons narrating that he doesn't belong here. Not here. Not now. The deal he made was rigged. He made me believe he says. Now there's darkness in my soul. He wants to die again but he chose to come back. Does he mean it? Does he not mean it? At this point, I don't even think he knows the answer to that. But what he does know is he chose to come back, but he doesn't know why. His memory starts to come back in fragments. We know that's Wanda, but at the time he doesn't know that. He remembers someone to hate. That's Jason Wynn, but he doesn't know that at the time. Al remembers being something special and proud of it. United States military. Now he also remembers dying. All these things start to come together in fragmented pieces and in gaps. To Simmons, it's not making sense. It's clear when he states that I needed, he gave. I had to. And all that I could think of was her. We know that he made a deal with Malboja to see Wanda again. But what he wasn't expecting was the lies, the plot twist. He accepted the deal on his terms, his rules, and his way. And somewhere in time, Malboja is laughing his ass off about it. At this point when this came out, it wasn't known that Malboja was the demon he made a deal with. But we know now. We know that Spawn's power meter at the release of this issue is 9999, 9999. As much power as he was given, he was also robbed of his memories. He knows he has to find Wanda so he can piece this thing together, but he can't remember her. But Spawn is certain that she'll remember him. He's going to find her alright, and when he finds her, he'll have his answers. Then he's going to find the one who framed him. Every story has a beginning, and this is Al Simmons, aka Spawn's beginning. And in this panel, we are introduced to Sam and Twitch, NYPD homicide detectives. They're investigating who threw Carlo Giamatti from a window, a mobster. He was thrown from the 44th floor. To add a humorous plot twist to this thing, Carlo Giamatti's heart was removed. I mean, maybe getting thrown out of 44 stories from above is not enough. Your heart's got to be removed too for good measure, you know what I mean? A little dark humor, and speaking of dark humor, Sam believes they got themselves a grade A wacko or the best damn volunteer cop in New York City. He feels that way because three hitmen were found dead in the last 48 hours. He sees it as somebody is saving him a lot of work. Now, in this panel, Spawn stops a group of thugs trying to thug themselves into this woman in the alleyway. Not to mention, they want to cut her tongue out too. Spawn takes the leader and tosses his ass out the window. You ain't carving no tongue, son. And tell your mama to save me a plate. All this memory mind messing with me is making the hell Spawn hungry. <laughs> Alright. Spawn asks the other boys, who's next? One of the thugs step up to Spawn like, bruh, nobody messes with me. Spawn flashes his necroplasm and tells him, Fat boy, you're way out of your league. And why do I get the voice of Keith David, the original Spawn voice in the animated series? Just That just kicked in right at this point. He lets out a small dot of necroplasm and we got ourselves a necroplasm explosion. He turns to the lady and tells her not to be afraid. Naturally afraid, she tells him, Please, I'll do whatever you want. Before he can assure her that it's all good, the random inconvenient memory flashback hits him again. And this time from reading it, it's not Spawn who's doing the narrating or Al Simmons, it's someone else. Something mysterious is doing the narration. Once again, your mind explodes with a searing pain. A floodgate of memory bursts wide open, yet it is her face that keeps haunting you. Always her face. Who is she? Then things begin to crystallize. You remember your funeral, begging and pleading for someone to release you from the darkness? You're not dead, you can't be. Then you feel her presence, warm, caring, soothing, but somewhere deep inside, she feels empty now. She has no reason, no meaning, no soul, but your soul lives while hers is dying. And then this demon flashes in front of his face and this traumatizes Spawn. At first, Spawn was the one saving her. Now the victim is the one consoling Spawn like, hey, come on, it's okay, you're all right, it's all over now. I don't know, man, that's just kind of fresh and a little bit of twist right there. So with that recent memory flashback, Spawn realizes that that's his wife. He has a wife, but he can't remember anything else. He doesn't know where her name is or the color of her eyes, but all he knows is that they were husband and wife. That's why she was grieving at the funeral. It was her that made him want to come back. And he let his mercenary instincts take over too quickly. He got too caught up in this damn costume. He's no hero. It's just that everything is so different. What happened in the last five years? He's stranded here not knowing what's going on. He knows he's alive, 
but he can't feel it. The only thing he feels is this damn costume and he has to get away from it and rip the symbiote mask off of him. And when he rips the symbiote mask off of him, his face just felt like he doesn't know who he is, what or what is he? And he asked himself that. Just like Sam and Twitch ask himself, who are they dealing with with this person that can rip hearts out of people's bodies? Because that freaking strength is freaking unreal. And we get to see Spawn's power meter at 995 because that little necroplasm blast reduces his power by four. So Malboja is somewhere in time is just laughing his butt off. <laughs> Ah, Simmons, if you think you got problems now, I promise your troubles have just begun. And that is the end of Spawn, issue number one. Hey, I had to go classic with it because you know what? I realized there's some amazing Spawn story arcs that I wanted to cover. And Spawn, issue number one, the beginnings, I want to cover that story arc. And if there's any other story arcs of Spawn you guys want to see me cover, comment below, let me know. Or hey, if some of you Spawn fanatics want to, did I just say Spawn fanatics? <laughs> yeah, I did. So if some of you Spawn fanatics, fanatics want me to cover the entire spawn series go, start from one and go all the way up to current hey by the way just comment below let me know give me some time and i pray that i can live that long to make that happen that'll be awesome but in the meantime we do have spawn issue number 296 all the way up to its current spawn volume up and running all the king spawn all the gunslinger spawn and all the scorch as well and don't forget to check out ratedcomics.com for some amazing comic books as well as rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection with all that being said spawn on issue number one what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know and also if you like the content we're throwing up you know what to do don't be shy don't be stingy here at rated comics we do awesome comic book reviews comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway and also this video is sponsored by coffee so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee link in description or donate to the super thanks but the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel thank you again for watching until next time